really. <laughs> when you stuck in the lift, with the air conditioning off and you sweat like a pig, the telephone screen goes dark and all the files are gone. At that time, you may feel so powerless, so helpless that you may pray for a superhero to bring you back to power. But actually, you can be that superhero. I'm not kidding. You can generate your own electricity by moving your feet. It may sound weird, but it's actually the case happening in the Tokyo rail stations. The scientists and engineers in Japan are using passengers to generate more energy by installing a special flooring pad in front of the ticket selling machines and the entrance. So, what is this flooring tiles? The flooring tiles are made up of layers of rubber sheetings, which can absorb all the vibration and pressure and turn them into electricity. So each time when the passenger steps on the pad, every step will be turned into electricity. So when the passengers pass through the ticket gate, a line will light up, telling you how much electricity has produced. By the time 4 million passengers pass through the ticket selling machines, the result, 1400 kilowatts has been produced per day which is enough to power four plasma TV or one microwave oven. So let me explain how this system works. The secret behind this system is a very special kind of crystal embedded in the layers of the pad. This crystal, can, when the passenger steps on the pad, the crystal will absorb all the vibration and pressure and turn them in the twist then turn them into electricity. So when it combined with a highly efficient storage system, this power generating floor can be served as an additional clean source of power for the train stations. So the secret, the scientists call this very special kind of crystal, the piezoelectric crystal. And the word piezo came from the Greek which means to press or to squeeze. So piezoelectricity is the ability of materials which generate electricity when they are squeezed or pressed. As you can imagine, the concept could be further implied in the power generating railway. In this case, the piezoelectric crystal will be embedded in the asphalt layer of the road. So when the vehicles are passing over the road, the, the crystal can absorb all the vibration and pressure and generate electricity, which can power the street light and the traffic light. In fact, piezoelectricity is widely applied in different many different areas, like the medical fields. It is widely used, it could be used in the pacemaker, which is used to adjust the heart rate of the patient. But what is piezoelectricity? Where does it come from? How does it work? Before we understand all that, we need to know a little bit about atoms and structures. All atoms, all matters are made up of atoms. And atoms are made up of small particles. The small particles, electrons, spin around the center of the atoms in the same way the moon spins around the Earth. So, each atom will have a specific numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So when the numbers of protons is equal to the number of electrons, we'll say the atoms is balanced and it is very stable. But what happens when the atoms is not stable? In this case, the atoms itself will try to attract the electron towards the atoms. So, because to to balance themselves out. So when the electrons are moving towards the atoms, then there will be an electron flow. We will call this electricity. So I would, so it's just like a football match. In this case, the football players will be the electrons, and the football itself will be the atoms. 
The football players will be running towards, will be competing against each other and one towards the others because there is a kind of mutual attraction for this and mutual attraction falls between the two. So when the football players are running around the pitch and compete against each other, we call this there is an electron flow. From the view of the scientists, electric electricity is a flow of the electrons around the surface. So that's how we have electricity. So you now know what's inside the piece of electric crystal. So let me explain to you what happens when it is pressed. Under the normal conditions, the piezoelectric materials will demonstrate a structure with simple kiln symmetry, which means that the atoms is balanced. In this case, the particles, the number of particles inside the crystal will be balanced. So what does that mean? It means that each football player will have his own footballs. That means there is no way for them to compete against each other. So in this case, no electricity will be generated. However, when the crystal is being pressed, the structure of the crystal will be changed, and there will be an imbalance of atoms. In this case, each football player will have to compete against each other and one fight for one atom because there is an unbalanced number of atoms inside. So when they have to run against each other and run, a, a one, run, run vigorously around the football pitch, electricity is created. As I mentioned before, electricity is a flow of electron around the surface. So all you need to remember is, is actually the pressing force itself on the crystal change the structure of the material and unbalance in the atoms. As I mentioned before, when there is an imbalance of atoms, the atoms will try to attract the electrons towards it. And when there is the movement of electrons, it's just electricity is created. And that's how the electric material generates electricity. So to summarize, mechanical compression or tension on the piezoelectric material unbalance the atoms generate a flow of electrons, that is, electricity. So as you can see that the concept can be further applied in other different areas. As I mentioned before, it can be used in the medical field, for instance, the pacemaker. The pacemaker is an electronic device implanted in the human body, which is used to adjust the heart rate of the patient. But you may not know that this device is powered by the batteries, and the battery has to be recharged or replaced for every three years. So some scientists in NASA even come up with an idea by installing a piezoelectric generator between the tendon and the muscle. In this case, when the muscle contracts, it exerts the forces on the piezoelectric materials which generate electricity to power the device itself. So no more battery is needed. Imagine, imagine one day when all the power cord and the batteries are gone with the history. Imagine, imagine one day when all the traffic lights and road lights could be powered by the vehicles running over the road. Imagine one day you no longer have to pay the electricity bills because your kids bouncing ups and downs on the floor. <laughs> Imagine that one day if you can charge your cell phone or iPod by simply pressing on it. How wonderful that would be. Our engineers are working hard to make all these dreams come true. Let's know though that renewable energy is our biggest hope today to stop the global warming. And the latest new source of energy I introduced today is definitely a way to go and deserve our support. I believe the world is in our hands. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you.